Hello there. My name is Frank. Of course. We are doing video number three. How the law of God has been changed. Yes. The law of God in the Bible and the law of God in the simple prayer book which is written by Catholic Truth Society. If they are writing the truth, then they must write exactly what is written in the Bible without having to exclude or include anything. But as we saw in the second video, the laws in here are very different to the laws here. Now, if God will judge, will he use that? No, he will use his word. Remember in the first video we said the law which was written yeah, in the book of um, Exodus, Exodus 31, remember we, we talked about that? It was written by the finger of God. God writing, it means it's very, very important and it means it's permanent. That's what it means. Yes, you want me to read you again? Uh, the book of uh, Exodus, chapter 31. I'll read you a uh, verse. Let's have a look here. It looks like I'm forgetting my verses. But we'll still find it anyway. And we always, God is always gracious and He always shows us what we have to learn. Um, here we are. Exodus chapter 31 verse 18 that's what we read in the first video remember it says here and God gave unto Moses when he had made an end of commun uh, communing with him upon Mount Sinai two tables of testimony tables of stone written with the finger of God yes written with the finger of God it means it's a permanent thing now, we read also in the first video the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, which is verse 24. Let's read it together. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of, of this law in a book until they were finished. Verse 26 says, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be a testimony against you. In other words, the law, moral law, and the ceremonies. The ceremonies where the one talk about sacrifices, talk about rites, about the holidays, circumcision, purifications, offerings, and new moons, feasts, and all sorts of celebrations which were looking forward to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was killed on the cross, then he was the one who put an end to that because it was the last sacrifice. Now, if you sacrifice now, it means you're saying the sacrifice of Jesus Christ was not enough. That is a curse to God. You must be careful. Yes, and then also the other curse is to change the law of God because God will use the moral law the Ten Commandments now you're changing it you're telling people to follow something different that's a curse to you as well yes the Bible is very clear Jesus Christ himself in the book of Matthew he said curse are those people who change the law of God because they follow human reasons. Yes, let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 15. Get your Bible. I don't want to talk here alone. I want to talk with you. And we learn this together. And we have when we have learned this together, yes, and God will bless us. Matthew 15, are you there? Um, then 15 verse 1 it says then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees which were of Jerusalem saying why do your disciples transgress the law of the elders for they wash not their hands when they eat bread 
law of the elders. Take note. Jesus Christ in verse 3 he says, But he answered and said unto them, Why do you transgress the law of God by your traditions? That's Jesus' answer. For God commanded this, and you do differently. Yes, for God put the Ten Commandments, and you put the Ten Commandments, which have been amended, which have been changed. You have a curse. And he says here, um, it's the same uh, 15, that's um, Matthew 15. Uh, it says, verse 7, it says, You hypocrites. Jesus Christ was very strong with people. Hypocrites, they say, and they don't do. How many hypocrites are there in the world now? Many, because they say, and they don't do. You can class me as a, as a hypocrite if you want. Yes, it's up to you. But they write say things differently. He says, These people draw unto me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrines, the commandments of men. Yes, the commandments of men. In vain. If we don't follow what God says, then we are following the commandments of men. God will not use the, the law in this book. God will use the law in his holy word. Yes. And there's so many people, they try to change the word of God so that it suits them. All wrong. God, if you read the word, you must read it and follow it. And don't try to change to suit your thinking. If you heard from your grandfather or grandmother or people about something which you're not very sure about, ask God to lead you. Then read it by yourself. There are so many people, so many religions, they follow certain rules. But you've got to be careful. Because here, yeah, the book of Matthew 15, verse 7, he says, You hypocrites. He says, Isaiah said it well. He says, These people draw me with their mouths. We talk. And then he says, And honors me with their lips. We talk, but their heart is far from me. The reason being that in vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrines, the commandments of men. If you say the, the law of God, the Ten Commandments is all finished, those are the people's thinking. But God, he says, I will use the Ten Commandments to judge the world. And it's a fair He's a fair judge. He's a just judge. He's going to use the same law to judge everyone in the world. Now, if you change the law, do you think God will follow your law? No. God, you cannot fool God. He will, he will use the law which he wrote with his finger. The reason being, he didn't want it to change. If you change it, you're cursed. There are people who come with their own books like I said the catechism catechism of Christian doctrine Christian doctrine it must be from the Bible people who come with books like Bible answers it must be the Bible itself must answer itself the Bible doesn't need another book for it to be answered no it needs itself God needs himself and God lifts himself and God is the one who directs he has the word himself because he, he had the word from the beginning. There are people who have books like this one. Can you read that? Yes. It says, the lawful and prohibited in Islam. Of course, the Islam religion, there's nothing wrong with that. No, they follow the Quran. The Quran is the word of God. But what I'm saying is, if you follow the Quran, but then you say the lawful and prohibited in Islam, why don't you say the lawful and prohibited by God? Why don't you say that? By God. It's not about religion here. It's about God. The lawful by God. 
if you say that then God will use the Quran and God will use the Bible to judge yes of course but I read through the Quran which I love the Quran is a nice part it's a nice book and I believe it's the Word of God when I read through it I didn't find the Ten Commandments nothing wrong with that but I found a lot of things which are also in the Bible yes go back to my other uh, videos where by I talked about uh, the genealogy of Jesus Christ there I talked about the Quran and the Bible yes in the other videos we will talk about the same the names which are in the Quran and also in the Bible yes but we have to know God is the one who talks God is the one who gives God is the one who presents like myself I went to run yes I went to run this race Robin Hood half marathon it's got its rules and you have to follow the rules because if you don't follow the rules then you're following your own rules and definitely you'll be disqualified yes follow God God is the one who made you God is the one who is our guide God is the one who leads and God is this very same one who's going to judge he will not use the ceremonial law because the ceremonies all were finished he will use the moral law the Ten Commandments of God as written by the finger of God and not as written in other books whereby they write different to what God says to suit their church like the Roman Catholic Church when they go into their church they bow down to idols I could say yes everybody has to bow down but that thing is just a piece of wood or a piece of cement or a piece of stone you don't have to do that some people bow down to their cars some people bow down to their jobs they got nothing to do with God because of their jobs the Word of God stands forever and God is the same one who will use his word to judge the world you and me subscribe and then of course send videos to your friends so that we can learn the truth together and as we learn the truth we're going to be free and of course God will bless us God bless you as you read more about what God wants and not what men want God bless you